Good evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Amrita Balan Chandra. We're going to talk about COVID cases, the fact that it's rising, and the new double mutant variant. Now, before I go into the double mutant variant and details that you need to know about it, you must first know what's going on in the country as far as cases are concerned and why we should be worried. India is the third worst affected in the world with 11.7 million cases. US and Brazil are the two other countries which are reporting far higher numbers when compared to India. But here's why we should be worried, right? Over the last couple of days, we've seen a steady increase in the number of cases. India, as of yesterday, has reported 59,118 new COVID cases, and this has been a pattern of the last one week. In fact, Maharashtra, which is one of the worst affected in the country, has also seen a similar trend with 36,000 new cases just yesterday. And over the last one week, we've seen a surge in the number of cases uh, as well. In the meantime, amid this COVID surge, we've seen COVID restrictions being imposed in several parts of the country. There are experts talking about variants and how transmissible they are, and perhaps why we're seeing this um, rise in cases. But these are the variants we knew until now: UK variant, Brazil variant, and South Africa variant. The government has now spoken about a new double mutant variant, which they say has been detected from samples collected in India. They also say it's been found in 18 states, and 20 percent of them is in one of the worst affected states in the country, which is Maharashtra, which has seen 206 cases. So this is what we're interested in finding out today: what is this double mutant variant? How? Um, Deadly is it when compared to other variants? How worried should we be? What are the precautions we must be taking, and how effective will vaccine be against these variants? And to talk about that, I have with me Dr. Mukesh Maheshwari, who is a consultant pathologist at uh, IMA Gujarat, uh, who is joining me right now. Uh, Dr. Maheshwari, thank you so much for joining us and giving us your time. My first question to you is this. What exactly is the double mutant variant, and if you can tell us how does it work, how is it different from the other variants? Uh, government of India has released a, a paper or a, in a press brief that they have found two new mutations. That is, one is called E four eight four Q, along with L four five two R. See, these are the two mutations occurring at us in a, in a single virus, so that they call it as a variant of concern. right now we don't have in sufficient data uh, uh, so we cannot uh, say whether it is more lethal or more transmissibility but we need some uh, more data we need some to do more sequencing of the virus and then and then we can uh, come to conclusion whether it is more lethal or whether it is having more transmissibility or whether it can uh, create problem in diagnosis so you are saying that we don't have enough data to assess whether it's more dangerous or or if it's more transmissible right now when compared to other uh, variants because there are a couple of reports talking about how uh, considering we have the uk uh, variant or the uh, south africa variant uh, brazil variant all of these variants are more uh, deadly is that because we have more information on that when compared to this new double mutant variant yes because you know the our prime minister has also announced that there should be minimum 5% of the sequencing to be done after january since january we must have seen uh, more than uh, i think 10 lakh cases in total and uh, we should have at least 50000 uh, genetic uh, sequencing to be done but we have done only 10800 sequencing till now that the what government data says and out of that we have seen 771 mute, uh, different variants but out of the 70, 771 variant there are three or four variant which are of concern one was b117 that was found in uh, kent area i think uh, 736 cases were uh, that uh, variant in india 34 cases from south african variant that is uh, b1.351 and one variant is from brazil so these were the known variant but this time these two variant uh, uh, or two mutation seen in a single virus that was not seen in the all previous variant of concern so this is a totally new uh, thing which is uh, seen in india even even also in nagpur uh, previously there was one mutation uh, detected that was n440k 
that was also causing uh, pneumonia very fast but uh, afterward there was no data available so uh, that uh, thing has stopped uh, on that uh, particular area but in this particularly eight uh, 18 samples we have seen these two mutation so we need to do more sequencing from the, the positive samples then and then we can study whether they, this virus is having immune escape or uh, there is a, a diag any diagnostic problem or whether there is a increased transmissibility so we need to do contact tracing of this uh, infected uh, patients we need to follow uh, take follow up this patient how they uh, you know recover uh, from the disease and we need to do uh, there is uh, uh, laboratory test uh, to see whether there is uh, effect of vaccine is there or not my other question to you is is there data to talk about why we're seeing so uh, so much spike in cases because uh, the government also said that 20% of the uh, these uh, variants come from maharashtra for instance maharashtra we've seen high number of cases uh, especially over the last one month we're talking about a second wave as well uh, is there a reason why we're seeing high number of cases is this the case the fact that there are variants yes uh, it, it it can be because uh, there is a sudden uh, rise of the cases and that that can be due to increased transmissibility that is a one possibility like in the kent variant where britain has seen a, a major second wave because of that virus and uh, now britain says that there are 70% of their new cases are belonging to uh, b117 and uh, anthony fauci the renowned uh, infectious disease specialist from usa they are pointing that uh, there is increased uh, morbidity and mortality also in that variant so because they have done uh, uh, i think uh, more than 3 lakh sequencing of uh, in britain so then they can label this uh, that this is a more transmissible more lethal but we need to do more sequencing and more data is needed but there is a definite possibility that this uh, two mutation are having a uh, increased transmissibility okay uh, i also want to ask you is it likely to cause more in, uh, reinfections as well for instance yes that is also possible because uh, whenever there is a mutation there is a change in the spike protein now this spike protein uh, has uh, you know ability to bind to the cells and the old uh, infection are having antibody to the old structure now this is a new structure so our uh, antibody may not be able to find out that this is a, the same virus so that can lead to immune escape and reinfection is possible even uh, uh, patients having uh, two doses of the uh, vaccine they can also have infection so you are saying it's possible right now to have the infections yes. and that's yeah. because of that's okay. Uh, yes, my, my yes. other question is then: Will a uh, vaccine, for instance, be effective against these variants? Is there data to uh, establish that as well? And I'm only talking about the double mutant variant. So we need to uh, do sequencing of uh, this virus. We need to culture the virus, and then we have to study first in laboratory, and then we have to study in the human being also uh, how effective these two vaccines are. but uh, considering that uh, covaxin is a uh, whole virus vaccine there are all the chances that they it it, ha it may have a good effect on the new variant also and uh, this covishield vaccine which uh, which is made uh, to the old uh, th this thing uh, structure of the virus need to be tweaked tweak means there is there they have to do some changes in the uh, uh, vaccine portion so that uh, the new virus can be tackled with the uh, uh, changes but considering everything that's going on in the uh, in the country right now we're talking about uh, you know uh, covid cases rising we're talking about more restrictions coming in we're talking about variants and a double mutant variant now you said effectively that there is in, isn't enough data to talk about whether uh, it's effective against vaccine there isn't enough data uh, on even uh, fatality and uh, transmissibility um how worried should we be right now considering there are Uh, cases that are rising across the country so this is a really uh, worrying thing for the doctors and scientists especially because uh, more number of mutation means more number more chances of immune escape more chances of reinfection and more chances of uh, severe disease so uh, the the way number are rising from 40000 to 60000 in a matter of a week that's a, a big concern because uh, whatever time you are giving to virus virus will flare up and it will have more and more mutation 
so if we want to tackle this virus uh, right now then we need to change uh, our vaccination strategy otherwise uh, the virus will get more uh, time and it will mutate more so it's a really uh, matter of uh, concern and uh, matter of worry for the doctors that the virus is mutating very fast there are new variants and new mutations are coming and it can lead to reinfection and second wave third wave fourth wave everything is possible okay so a couple of things that uh, dr maheshwari has said at this point one is that there is no data to establish how deadly or transmissible uh, this new double mutant variant is uh, there are uh, you know uh, th there is research being done on this at this moment but right now what we know so far is that it could be the case that because of variants we seeing high number of cases irrespective of that we need to be as careful as possible we need to adopt covid appropriate behavior wear our mask sanitize our hands uh, and be as cautious as possible because we don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of months with the kind of uh, cases uh, that are rising across the country and the restrictions coming in and vaccination could be uh, the only answer and that's something that the government will have to do uh, thank you dr maheshwari thank uh, for uh, speaking to us thank you and thank you meeta